few minutes ago that our daytime poll question is one of the ways that our viewers interact with us here in daytime. Another way they interact is occasionally they tell us about the most wonderful people who are doing great things in our community. And that's exactly what happened when we found out about our next guest. It was through an email from a viewer who said, you really have to talk to my friends, Jamie and Scott Burton. They are doing such amazing things in the community with a company that's called Dolphin Digital Technologies. Won a number of awards, a couple of them that they brought with them today. And we're going to find out what makes them so wonderful today. Welcome both, jo uh, Jamie and Scott. Thank you so Thank you to have you here. Nice to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hadn't heard of, of Dolphin Digital, uh, one of those gems in our community now that I know a little bit about it. But let's tell our, our viewers about the, the work that you do and what Dolphin Digital is all about. Well, we think it's certainly a gem, that's for sure. But Scott, you go ahead because I um, think that this is your joy to say. Sure. <laughs> uh, essentially, Dolphin Digital Technologies is what you may be aware of. We design, develop, and support uh, computer networks for small to mid-range business. Uh, predominantly, that's been in the Tri-Cities region, and um, we've had some reaching out, if you will, through our virtual services that has pretty much had us navigate the globe over the last few months as well. So, Well, and, and that for this area isn't any surprise. We're in a big tech sector yeah, here, yeah, and I do tech sector, so you know, people will say, well, that sounds pretty typical. I think it's what you're doing with the company and how you're growing this company that really is unique and, and maybe you can explain a little bit more about the whole virtual aspect of Dolphin Digital and the employees that you're employing too. Sure, absolutely. Um, obviously when you design something that requires maintenance over time it's very difficult to divide a, a singular or multiple people into many places. So Scott developed something called the Dolphin Support Stream, which is actually a remote service that allows us to interact with the workstation, the servers, uh, from wherever the person is that needs it or from wherever we are. So we've taken that, and actually I'm going to let you speak to that because this is your uh, <laughs> expertise, that's for sure. But, as you may have gleaned, I'm the IT of, of the company, and Jamie is certainly the uh, PR person. So um, together we, we make a complete package. Um, Dolphin Support Stream is really the synthesization of IT support down to an icon on your desktop. You click on an icon within 30 to 60 seconds anywhere in the world. Somebody's remoted into your computer. They're sharing your desktop, your screen. They fix your problem and, and back out of that session. And that's a person. Yeah, it's it not that... Please press one for it, please press two. <laughs> it's an actual person that's there. That's and that right. is exactly what we've been winning the awards for. That person, um, we identified immediately on that we wanted to make a difference with our difference in our community, with our business. Um, we focus on the benefits of raising four children in this community, and we recognize that there was a need that spoke to employing people with disabilities. So we had uh, struggled with the idea of how we would keep employees because in a high tech, or, uh, high tech sector like this community, uh, people would come, receive training, do their thing for a while, and then jump ship when the next greatest thing came along. Um, so we talked about it and we strategized and we experienced some very skilled uh, IT people in other client space that were also Inspired. people with disabilities. And they inspired us to they could choose a direction. And so we chose to strategically approach uh, an entire hiring strategy that only hires people with disabilities that are experienced um, and have a great amount of skill in IT. And it seems to be the perfect marriage because when you're talking about this virtual workspace, all of a sudden it's very accessible. So we're talking about an accessible workspace because the person is essentially working out of his or her own home. Many times, yes. And, and for them, it, it doesn't matter. The wheelchair or whatever the disability is, it, it doesn't matter because when they're helping somebody through a phone line, through a, a telephone call, as long as they know how to fix the problem, that's all the person that on the other end cares about. And, and that, that's exactly it. When, when we did the evaluation of candidates as employees, we realized fairly early on we were really about intellectual property and the propelling of intellectual property. Anything beyond that, creed, color, size, shape, is really of no consequence. And uh, we were thrilled when we actually identified this. Obviously, we're winning great awards for this today. Coming up with the concept in the beginning was not so cookie cutter. It was a, a piecemeal together. Certainly, uh, certain individuals that were disabled played into this as we met with them and, and got to know different people and, and helped us forge this direction, if you will. But in the end, um, we're privileged to have come up with an idea of living in a community of technology and have the business model that allows us to say, um, we can actually erode a barrier to employment. We can make a difference while doing good business. And we always focus on that. Um, 
nobody we hire is below the skill set. Everybody must. There's quite an extensive uh, um, um, evaluation process and, and yeah. assessment that's done through virtual services as well. You will not get into our company without having a skill set. That is number one. And then from there we talk and we see who you are and, and what it is you can bring to the table. Yeah. And I think that that's what our recent, uh, we, we recently named the Microsoft uh, Community Leadership Partner of the Year. And uh, we're yes. pretty proud of that. We actually won two awards this year. The other one was from CME BTA uh, uh, for the Innovator of the Year. And uh, it's because we have chosen a direction that is very timely with all of the implementation of the customer service standards and the AODA. I mean, our provincial government, we are actually very fortunate that our government is leading us in a direction that is more inclusive in our strategic approach to business. Uh, we're about to approach a, a hiring shortage. This is an incredible talent pool that we've managed to harness and bring into our business that has seen us grow, expand, become more profitable, our staff, no turnover. It's, it's a winning solution. Absolutely. Well, and I think that's what makes this so exciting, that the, the awards aren't just about what you're doing, but that people are recognizing the value to this, mm -hmm. and that we're going to see this grow in other communities. And the two of you are now becoming these extremely busy people, because everybody wants to find out about your business model and are asking you to do other things, such as mentoring programs that you're yes. starting to look into as well. Yes. And actually, we recently uh, co-hosted the first ever Canadian uh, Mentoring Dis Disabilities Day. And uh, we did that with the Making Sense of Abilities Coalition. Uh, we held it here in the Waterloo Region, and it was an amazing experience for us because it's contacts that we've made in this community with some great businesses that realize the opportunity that they have to demonstrate that they're also going to be able to approach an inclusive hiring strategy, but also for the, the people that participated on that day, it was thrilling for us. What was the saying that you had for that day that it was the beginning? You looked at the, the items that Steve Jobs had. Oh, Essentially, I equated an article in Forbes magazine, which was a, a dedicated to Steve Jobs. And as I said to the people around the table, it wasn't only the article, it was the vision. And if you look at Steve Jobs when he came out the door, that was a pretty rough item. It's not what we see there today, but he kept playing with this and working it forward. And what we're doing today is very much like that. Let's take a look at what this will be in five years or 10 years as a business model as well. well. It's exciting for all of us in the region to be taking a look at that vision and watching it grow over and the next sure. while. And I'm, congratulations on the and I'm sure there's more where that came from. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. Great. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.